Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingileli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering a human evolution exam question um, from a previous question paper. Let us go through it. The table below shows the evolution of cranial capacity in some species. All right, so you obviously need to analyze the table. You are having a list of species in the first column. The second column is the period of existence um, in million years ago. Then um, the third column is the average cranial capacity in centimeter cubes. All right, the first question, name the two hominid genera in the table below um this will be the first one this will be the second one and this will be the third one they just they've just asked us for for two so homo um that's the first one um astra yeah that's the second one even this one we can also take it Sahela um, Dropas. They've just asked for the hominid genera. That's it. Okay. So first two. Name the two fossils of A. Africanus that were found in South Africa. Um, that is the womb child. The womb child. Um, Mrs. Place. Um, little foot also, little foot. Oh, well, the genus name the genus that appeared first on Earth as shown in the table. Um, seven million years ago. Uh, that's definitely that one. So Sahela Dropus. Remember, this is a scientific name, guys. Um, you need to underline it. It's a scientific name. So we follow rules for the writing scientific names. So please do underline it. Even if it's just the genus, underline it, please. So this will be underlined. Okay, which hominid had a cranial capacity closest to that of homo, uh, homo sapiens? So homo sapiens here, 1450. The one closest to that is one five zero zero, so that is Homo uh, Nidathalensis. Okay, uh, we will write this here. So Homo uh, small letter. I'm just making sure that the spelling is correct. Okay, I'm trying to see. Yeah, I'll write it here. Ho mo e a n d e r t the lenses. Then you underline. Remember scientific words, we follow the rules. Um yeah. Give the smallest cranial capacity of a homo species. So for the homo species one, they, we're looking at these four, homo, 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 homo. Um, the smallest cranial capacity, so that will be 650. So we can't take 450 and 480 because they were specific that they want... Um, um the one for the homo species which is these four okay so the smallest one is 650 cm3 okay then four when did a africanus become extinct so you go back to the table three million years ago up until two million years ago so 2.0 million years ago or you could have written two million years ago meaning it's two with um six zeros years ago that'll also be fine um fossils are used as evidence of a hominid 
evolution. Name two other lines of evidence. <sighs> that is generic evidence. Evidence and cultural evidence. Okay. Next one. Okay. Uh, easy piece of stuff. So this one is a phylogenetic tree. You obviously need to read and understand and analyze. It's not difficult. Then you answer questions. So you can take a picture of this um, and obviously answer the questions with me. Okay. What is the type of diagram? What is this type of diagram called? I've already said it. This is a phylogenetic tree or cladogram. Okay, how many of each of the following are represented in the diagram? How many genera are represented? Um, we can go back and count. So that is one. So that's one. That's two. That's three. Um, that is four. I'm seeing four. Uh, that is five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. How many of each of the following are represented in the diagram? Homo species. So any species with homo, with the word homo, basically. So that is one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't see any other, so that is four. Okay, name the species that have P. aethiopicus as a common ancestor. Name the species that have P. aethiopicus as a common ancestor. The pronunciation, guys, you? Yeah, there is no master of pronunciation when it comes to these scientific, um, scientific words. All right, let's see. Let's look for... Uh, this genera, there it is. So there it is. So how many species? These two species, Robustas and Boise. So those are the two that you write. Okay, and you write the words in full. But even if you just, for this particular question, even if you just wrote the, the species name, so that is... Robustas and Boise. Okay. When did A. Ramidas become extinct? And when did Homo erectus first appear? You go back to your phylogenetic tree. Become extinct. Let's look for it. Um, there it is. When did it become extinct? Let's figure it out. Um, three, four, four point. Um, four point three or four point four or four point five. Can it be four point five? I would say four point. Remember, for teachers, there'll be a range here. So I think the accepted range will be four point three to four point five. So I will just write four point three million years ago. So for those that wrote four point four, they will still get a mark. For four point five million, they will also get a mark. Um, when did Homo erectus first appear? Where is Homo erectus? There. When did it first appear? Uh, there, one million years ago. One million years ago. Name the hominid species that existed at the same time as Homo sapiens and the first Homo species to use tools. Uh, existed at the same time as Homo sapiens. They need the lenses. 
and the one that used tools i think that is obvious that's how happy sure yeah nah. 